Hello, my spooky crew. It is I, Halloween Dan, doing yet another video about animatronics. Brand new animatronics. I know what you're thinking. The same thing you were last week. It is not even halfway through January, Dan. What are you doing to me? Brand new animatronics have been dropping like horrible drops of rain falling from the bleak British January sky. And I cannot ignore them. And I shall not ignore them. If you are wondering what the hell I'm going on about, well, today we are focusing mainly on Morris costumes. So let's just get straight into this. <laughs> So if you weren't aware, right now, as we speak, over in Las Vegas, Nevada, the Halloween and Party Expo 2023 is taking place. And this place is full to the brim of Halloween goodies. Absolutely yummy stuff for all us Halloween freaks. But without a doubt, the stuff most people are talking about is Morris costumes. Because Morris costumes, not only are they there this year, or revealing new stuff this year, but they have at least four new props, and they are very, very exciting. Now, for the past week or so, there have been little leaked images coming out of Instagram and also from Morris Costumes themselves. Most of the leaks have come from a guy called Bad underscore Wolf, which is on Instagram. Go follow him, he's very good. He, he shows off all this cool stuff. But then in the last week, we've seen pictures of the setup. We've seen little videos, sneak peeks of some of these new animatronics. At first, they were just boxes with show on them, obviously for the expo. And then we've seen them built. We've seen these things. People were trying to guess what the names, trying to guess what these props were. And then eventually we've seen some actual video footage of these things. All of these things have been leaked. None of them are official as such, but they're still really good. And we get a real good look at these things. Now, if you're anything like me, Morris Costumes is a bit of a love-hate situation with them. I love Morris Costumes in that I do enjoy the things that they bring out. But I have to say the last couple of years, they've been a little bit of a letdown. Not everything they've brought out has been great. There's always something I like. Last year for me, the, the favorite thing they made was the graveyard host. Absolutely love the graveyard host. I think the only thing with Morris costumes is they're quite pricey and sometimes their props aren't doing that much. You know, the graveyard host, he was epic. It was just an eight foot prop talking a bit and, and with glowing eyes and he moved a bit. He wasn't really doing anything excessively exciting or amazing and I think Nowadays, I'm not alone that we kind of want a little bit more from our animatronics. If you're wanting us to part with four or 500 pounds, they have to be doing something spectacular. But maybe that's just me, I'm not so sure. Regardless of that, Morris Costumes have come to this expo this year with at least four new animatronics. Their stand at the show looks absolutely amazing. I'd love to be there in person. But the, there are four animatronics in particular that everyone's kind of very excited about. So we're gonna have a look at these one at a time and have a little conversation about what we think about them. Now the first prop I wanna talk about is kind of the first one we got a name for, and that is the Soul Stealer. Now when that name was first announced, I had in my head images of the Harvester of Souls, kind of thought Soul Stealer, Harvester of Souls, is it that kind of a prop? Is it something along those lines? No, is the answer. No, it wasn't something along those lines. But its description was pretty cool. A reaper stood in front of a gravestone that kind of splits open, holding a book. All sounded like stuff I would really be into because I love a reaper prop. Then we started to see the first few pictures of this guy come through. And if I'm honest with you, when I first saw the picture, I was a little tiny bit disappointed. He looked great in one respect. The face, the skull mold is excellent. I think it's pretty, I'm sure that's a new mold. I don't think I've ever seen that mold of a skull on a Reaper before. Um, looked kind of old school in some respects. I quite liked the Book of the Dead thing that he's holding and the tombstone in the original picture, you could see it was cracked and I couldn't wait to see that thing actually moving because that's what it said it did, it cracked open and I was kind of wondering if there was maybe something hidden behind. The only thing I felt that let it down was its costume, the costume, the outfit looked kind of cheap, a bit uh, plasticky, I don't know, just not quite right. But then I kind of thought maybe that's because it's waterproof. 
Mm, maybe it is. If it is, excellent. I don't know. Either way, I wasn't fully sold on it. And then we saw the actual videos of this guy uh, moving. Can't really hear an awful lot of what he's saying, but he looks super cool. The movement is really great. He's got some sort of an ability to have smoke pumped through him. So he's got smoke coming out from under his hood and stuff. The tombstone is opening. It looks really cool effect. Unfortunately, there is nothing behind the tombstone. I kind of hoped maybe there was like a little ghost or something behind the tombstone or a skull or something. I don't know. But there isn't. It's just the tombstone opening. But still a really cool effect in its own right. And I was quite happy with that one. Next, there is the prop that did start a whole lot of excitement in the Haunter community. And that is the mangy rat. Now, this started excitement, I think, because this is just really a prop we've never properly, we've never really seen before, especially not for Morris costumes. It doesn't seem like their kind of prop in some ways, I suppose. I'm not overly fussed on it as, a, as myself. It's not something I would be going for. It doesn't really go with anything else I've got in my horn, but I can appreciate it. I can see it's a really creepy mangy rat. Looks kind of gross. And nicely, we did see a bit of footage of it and it's not, talking well at least the bit of footage we've seen it's not talking or doing anything really weird it is just sort of squeaking in a really kind of gross rodenty kind of a way i think this would go really well in sort of like a mad scientist laboratory kind of a horn if that's the sort of thing you're into doing other than that though i'm not quite sure where else this would go in a horn it, it it's not something i will be racing to buy even if it did come to the uk but the two props I was most interested in, and it kind of surprised me at how interested in them I was, were not the sort of props I usually go for. First one hasn't been given a real official name yet. We don't really know the name, but everyone's either calling it the gardener. Some people have called it the farmer, but I think it's a groundskeeper. I think that's what it's going to be called. Some form of a groundskeeper. It's a guy holding a pair of shears. The shears look all bloody and covered in blood. Pretty gory. And in the video footage we've so far seen of him, he's kind of talking about kids getting off my lawn and all that kind of stuff. So he's a grumpy, kind of gross looking groundskeeper of some description or a gardener telling people to get off his garden. And in my home was a car, I remember back in the day when my home was a castle and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of, that's kind of cool because everyone has a yard, if they're doing a yard horn, everyone has got a yard of some description that they're doing on, and if nothing else, maybe a bush or a tree or something. So he goes really well in most, in almost any scenario there. And it's kind of, kind of fun, kind of spooky. I love the face detail on this guy. He's really, really creepy looking. I would say it's probably the most realistic looking face mold I've seen on one of these props for a really long time. I was kind of really impressed by that. But for me, the shock one, the one that I liked, actually liked the most, was what has been generically named the Carnival Barker. Now, in the main setup pictures that we first saw of this, he's sitting center of this whole picture, and you can't miss him. And because, the reason I'm most surprised by this is because I don't usually go for clown props. I'm not really into them, as I've said many times. I avoid clown props like the plague. I think they've been overdone. I think we see far too many of them and they're always kind of the same. They're like a big clown, usually something bloody and gory, eating a, a kid or something. It's always the same thing and I'm just not, I just don't feel it. I, do, I, don't, I don't get it. It doesn't say Halloween to me. But this guy kind of does because the more footage of him that was released and the more detail we saw of the guy, the less clown-like he became. And he became more like a creepy sort of carnival guy who's got a purple wig on and a clown's outfit on, but he's not specifically a clown as such. He doesn't have that traditional clown look. And he is just, he's got the really creepy face. He's got a sort of, looks like he's got a sort of stubble on his face and a moustache. And he's shouting clearly like, roll up, roll up, come to the creepiest, are you ready for Halloween and all that kind of stuff. He stood on this great big box. I don't know how big this prop is. No one seems to know. He looks like he might be about eight foot with stood on the box. I don't know, he might be a little bit less than that. But either way, the box itself is really cool. It's got some really cool detail on it. And he himself is awesome. I really like the purple hair and I like the sort of shouting out kind of thing. And I think even though I don't go for the sort of creepy carnival look, 
I think this would kind of go in almost anybody's horn. I sort of like that look. I think even though I go for the graveyard horn sort of thing, I think he would kind of go with that because he's sort of, he's not a clown. He's not pretending, he's sort of saying, roll up, roll up, come and look at this freak show kind of a thing. And that's exactly what my Halloween horn is. It's a right freak show of all sorts of stuff. And I think there's something weird and eerie about him. So it's, I can't believe I'm saying this, but of all the props I've seen so far, that carnival barker, which is, I suppose, a clown of sorts, is actually my favorite prop. I know, I've done a complete 180. That would usually be the sort of prop I would avoid no end. And everyone else would be going on about it and I would be saying how much I, how much I disliked it. But not this time, I really like that guy. I've got to give a little shout out to Animatronic Halloween 7388 who actually shared this footage. It's not mine or anyone else's. He's there at the show sharing this footage. I'm saying he, I don't know whether it's a he or a she. Oh well. But they shared this footage and so because of them we we're able to see this stuff in action and actually analyze it and talk about it and go over it. So thank you very much Animatronic Halloween 7388. So guys, I hope you agree that some of those props were pretty damn cool. No word really on the official names of these properly or when they're gonna be released or how much they're gonna be as such. There's been lots of guessing. And I don't even know whether any of these are gonna end up coming to the UK. But, super cool, super excited nevertheless. And here we are in January talking about props once more, which can mean only one thing. It's Halloween, guys. Happy Halloween. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Keep it spooky. Bye.